Hi, Cyberspace here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 20, and you can see I've just finished this research, and I noticed I haven't even started the solar panel research, or the trains research. Yeah, I, I still have a long way to go, and, like, I'm, I am going so preemptive with this blue science, because I haven't researched a lot of the basic green science things, and I was going here to see if I can get landfill, it's not enough landfill. I can delete this chain though because I don't need it. I one wooden chest is all I need because I don't want to waste too much stone with this. Like just having 1600 landfills, 32,000 stone. Like I'm even gonna use this to limit it to 600 landfill. Also, if you hear this noise, um, some idiots outside are doing fireworks. So yeah, I, I have no idea why it's like it's february i don't know what cause of celebration there is but apparently there's something to these people and okay anyway i can put the blue signs here i have a decent bit of landfill it's almost 300 and i know it's not enough to actually um cover this entire lake but it's it's gonna at least get me somewhere. Like, I was about halfway done with this lake, and now I'm probably about three quarters of the way. Or at least two thirds of the way. And that's that's big progress. However, everything's just slow at this point. The reason is iron. My iron demand keeps going up, and the supply doesn't really go up at all. And it's the real problem is that, like, with the mixed ores, I knew this is going to be the, lo the big logistical problem of this entire series. The mixed ores, where you need, like, each of, like, I now have three mixed ores going. For copper and ferret, iron is the more used, which means I want to use as much copper as possible. With um, silver carbonite, Coal is more used, so I want to use as much sulfur as possible. And with um, the um, not strash like carfitium, I um, steel is way less used. I want I want to use as much steel as possible. One of the main problems here is that uh, this iron it's not even at its full potential anymore, and this is because I'm literally not producing enough iron. Which means, yeah, I need more electric mining drills, but of course I need more iron to do that, because, yeah, iron is like the eternal problem. It never goes away. Okay, so I'm placing even more mining drills to try to mine just a little bit more iron so I can actually use it at its full potential. I could even try using steel furnaces at this point, which um, are more expensive, but they're faster, so it may be worth it to use. But then again, there's barely any iron even coming in at this point. Like, it's not even a full yellow belt. That's how little iron I have. Um, at least I can put a few more mining drills down. But man, my resources are really running low already. It's like... I, I don't even think my base is all that large. I mean, it, it, okay, I guess it is large, but... It's not that big. It's And it's like ru running out so quickly I, I, I'm, I'm so used to million plus resource veins instead of stuff like this okay so I'm placing down even more mining drills to just try to extract as much as possible from this iron vein because um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm soon gonna be covering the the entirety of what remains of this iron. Like with this and this, this is probably iron. I'm not, I'm, it's interesting that I actually have the, I can, I don't do it like this, I can do it. I think there's already a belt there, that's what I was trying to say. Um, ooh, this is tricky. I can do this and then I guess this and this. It's lame, but that's what I do. 
and it uses up every single one, every last one of the uh, mining drills. And I mean that was satisfying, but then I was I was one belt short, so it was so close, but not so close, but no cigar. Anyway, we are. I'm ready to deploy all of these, and hopefully this this may increase power production or consumption to the point where actually not quite. I I'm really underestimating or overestimating how much power all this is going to use. I could try to double the size of um, of this smelting array because. Um, it seems like I have spare iron. Or I could just use the faster, you know, instead of doubling the size, I'll just use steel furnaces. I need steel plates and stone bricks. Using the steel plates is actually, that alone is worth it because steel is a resource I need to use. It sounds so weird, but that's, that's literally what it is. So, yeah, crafting the steel furnaces, they're just twice as fast as stone furnaces, that's all. It's not that exciting, but doing this will allow me to use a, to make a full yellow belt of iron. And finally, now I can make a full yellow belt of iron. This is like the first full yellow belt I've ever done of like a single resource that's not a raw ore. Which is, that, that's pretty exciting. And power consumption is fine, and this is this is going to drastically speed things up. I basically triple my iron production, and this is going to it's going to be huge because this is, means I can actually I, I'm I'm not going to be getting like what even is my average science per minute in the past hour? It's probably something horrible. Yeah, 16 red science per minute and three green science per minute. Three, that is horrible. And what about military science? I'm guessing that's even lower. Okay, that, uh, where even is military science in here? Somehow blue. Somehow I made four blue science. I have no idea how. Have I made no military science? I only see five grenades. Oh man. If I've really made no military science, that's a problem. What? Like, what's. Is it. I have all the resources. I mean, I guess I need to, I need to put this on both sides of the belts, um, like this, does that even work? I can make it work, but even that, what even, I don't know what's happening, what am I, oh, it's inserters, that's why, duh, I just need to grab like this. I can't believe I missed that. It's literally inserters that I'm missing. That's why I'm producing zero military science. You know, I can't believe it took three episodes for me to spot this. That That's the kind of mistake you make in, in this game. And hopefully, I wonder if this will be healthy. It's, I think, isn't this five copper and four iron and one steel? I, that, yeah, I would say that's healthy ratio, except this is not healthy. 10 iron and 5 coal. That's the, that's the ones I don't want to use. I'm actually going to delete this at this point because I'm I'm close enough to um to like full to like filling up the entire lake that I'm probably good with how much landfill I have. I probably just need a, a little over 300 landfill remaining, and I have like 200 something. So, just have it. Like, that's probably going to be enough to um, completely fill the lake. Unfortunately, I need to get some stone bricks as well. Um, I, I'll just deal with that. I can, I, I can make a road out of that, so it's not not all bad and I can even like make a road here because yeah, this is missing a road I really do not need these wooden chests anymore now that I can actually I can build a real road it's not just indication indication anymore 
and yes it's annoying when you mess it up but it, it's fine so yeah this this actually seems to um, work at least somewhat and I have 278 landfill I know that's not enough but it's it's getting there it's actually kind of close wrong material and I have almost completed it this is how much of the lake I've left all I need to I pro, all I need to do is just grab a few more of this just build a few more landfill don't want to grab coal that is thing I really do not want to grab uh, that's okay what I'm saying is is so repetitive or and so redundant, actually. That, yeah, that's a better term. I'm bad with words. And I think this is it. This is the last... Okay, and I, I need to check with a grenade here. There's still a little bit more. There's like three more landfill, probably. Literally three. And oh, it's just two more. Unless I'm missing something here. No, I'm, I'm actually not missing something. I've actually completely filled this, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna extend the road further here, and I notice that I run into an iron vein, which means that this will definitely be the next iron vein. <laughs> it's actually the one right near that cut run ferret, which means I have to I, I'm gonna have to sort that using not not the sorting machines but like the splitters. There's also a cliff I can explode, yay. And some trees I can also explode. And finally, a little bit of plastic is appearing. Which means that I can produce blue science. Even though I really do not need blue science because, as you can see, especially with all the modded researches, like, there's still a whole bunch of just red-only researches I don't, I, I'm missing. And you're... I mean, you're starting to see some stuff that uses blue science. And this is one of the big ones. Um, it is electric furnaces, which is steel, red circuits, and um, stone bricks. And looking at the raw resources, it's a pretty healthy um, combination based on like my mixed ores. So that is... Um, or at least a net positive health, because stone bricks is neutral, steel and plastic cancel each other out, and then uh, and then um, copper is more than iron. So like, eventually, copper will actually um, use more than iron. But we are nowhere close to that day yet. Um, there's a new but there's a new biter base right on the Saint Lawrence River. Hooray! Biter expansion is so annoying. So you can see at this point, with all of the additional iron I'm producing, it's actually almost keeping up, which is it's crazy. You can see like this is accumulating, and I'm not exactly sure how fast this is. It's not fast at all, actually. <laughs> like, at least I'm producing more belts than I was before, but I'm probably gonna need even more. It's, um, yeah, I'm still missing gears. That's the problem. Once this accumulates all the way up to here, um, I will be producing a few more belts. Also, like the red science, it's accumulating so much that these chests... Oh, this one's almost full. Um, this one still has a ways to go. But once all four are full, this will be completely backed up. And this will allow me to put more resources into um, green science. Also, I'm missing, I'm missing an inserter here. I, I'm, I will need to put some blue science in eventually. And I'm also missing a belt here. Yeah, that's how much blue science I, I've created. That's like 10. That's literally 10. Just a sad little group of blue science. I don't think there's anything that costs 10 blue science, unfortunately. I'm also producing a ton of military science. If I look at the one minute of military science, it's 48 per minute. It's the same as my red science. So it looks like that is actually okay somehow. 
It's just the green science. It's weird. Military science is way more complicated than green science. And it's further along, which means that normally the stuff will be leached off the belt like this. I actually want to do one little change to how this works. I, I've actually recently implemented this change in my other world that is like much has a much bigger base and um, this is to do to this little strategy um, see like what the iron is going to the gears Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a faster inserters and everything but um, before that um, what I can do I can split this and split this um, this will I don't even think it matters, actually. All that matters is I think there's... I don't even think I need to split at all. Because this is already balanced right there. So, and this is like the first thing that's taken. So, what I can do instead... Or not instead, but like... What I'm doing is two belts are being taken. And actually, you know, this is completely... Um, it's not a splitter. It, it, it must go this way. And then... What I do is I go up here. I do this. Like I, I do all the belts here. I connect them like this, and then I again spaghetti it through, just like this. And then this forms the third lane of my iron. And I'll probably put a balancer like this. And this allows more gears to be made. And also, I need fast inserters here. That's another thing. And I would probably like more, um, four more assembling machines. Because, like, I actually had enough iron to produce enough gears. So just producing more gears like this is the way to go. So now, instead of having a quarter of the iron, go to gears we now have half of the iron being used to make gears and this will actually if all if these are all full this will produce exactly one yellow belt of gears with nothing left over eventually i you'll see what productivity modules are and i'll be able to create a full belt of yellow or full yellow belt of gears while having stuff left over so here's some exciting news. The green circuit demand is finally outweighing its supply, which means that I'm going to double the green circuit uh, build. There's, that, there's, there's 400 belts in there, which means I'm finally producing a lot more of everything. And okay, I, I guess I, I need some more iron to make some underground belts, but it's not even going to take that many belts, at least proportionally to what I have. And all I can, I can do, or what I can do now is I can just do this and um, copy the, or essentially do the same thing as before. And I may want to use fast inserters here, possibly. Same with here. Yeah, this is I'm, I'm definitely shifting towards fast inserters because they're going to be very useful. I mean, they're already really useful. I don't know why I'm saying they will be very useful. They're, they are useful. But they're just, I guess I'm just saying that they're going to become more crucial as production keeps ramping up like this. And boom, now this entire... Oh, it's not quite done yet. I just need... So this is... This insert is not in the right place for some reason. But I can just put lanky inserters here and here. Oops, no, no not like that it here and then boom this I can actually make uh, I, I've doubled my green circuit production and the thing is green circuits are two are, are no, it's three copper for every iron which means that copper consumption is gonna outweigh iron consumption which means I can actually make more out of the cut run ferrets so yeah this is actually really successful in scaling up you can see Power is about to hit max. However, solar energy is almost done. So next up, next episode, I said last episode I was gonna start doing solar. 
I lied. This episode, ne this time, next episode will actually be about solar. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.